How this one is wrapped around that's what you want on this side there we go just like that and then once you get it open snap it on the bottom so that it does not come open when like kids or whoever else are on it open it all the way perfect okay let's read the instructions you don't know what these pieces are for so i'm gonna keep them in here okay so you want to put this over the metal here I'm sure so it doesn't pinch fingers Okay, remove all parts from the box. A check. After products are removed from the plastic and the storage bags, unlock the top buckle. Check. Pull product open to unfold. Check. Dust handles as shown, like, check. Invert product so that it rests on its handles. Oh, this is cool. So this basically says it was inspected by David and tina thank you david and tina for making sure that quality control inspected my products refer to page seven for unfolding instructions which we have already successfully unfolded it on our own push and hold the wheel lock button okay push and hold the wheel lock button which ones are we installing here friends the big ones or the small ones i think the small ones okay i mean so the instructions aren't like crystal clear like it kind of went from um, step one refer to page seven and then step two to inserting the wheels and it doesn't really tell you what wheels but I mean if you can look at pictures you you like you got it you know so oh do I take this phone thing off no I would assume so yeah okay see it doesn't tell me front wheels a check Position rear axle on stroller frame with locking tabs facing outward. I've seen lots of videos about this. Um, I guess this is where a lot of people ugh, kind of get confused. I think it's like this, I think. Okay, now well, we got the, the Mac Daddy wheels here. Yes, okay, I think that's all. She is like, had a hard day. Yes, look at it go. This thing is huge. In case you're wondering, it's giant. Go, full size standard poodle can fit inside your Keens. <laughs> okay, so I had seen other videos of people saying you twist these counterclockwise to get them up, but it looks like you push this button You don't have to twist it at all. So you push it and you pull it all, oops, you pull it all the way out. This is your canopy bag. I'm just 
comes back like this. Okay, I was like, uh. Yeah, I was expecting it to fit a little bit tighter. Um, but I guess, I mean, that's okay. It's not like a huge deal. Toggle thing. What happened? Too much too. It's, it's hurting. Let me see. Okay, so hold on. So, and then there is a canopy, like if you want it to get nice and cool. It ends up from both sides, which is really nice. Can I get in? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Dude, this is cool! What do you think? It's great! Oh my oh, sorry. Hey Jasmine, how you doing girl? So I'll show you more outside, like in better lighting, of kind of what it looks like with all my accessories on it. I'm so excited! So one thing I've already figured out the hard way that is super frustrating, these these front wheels has this um, thing. I don't know if you can see it. Whenever you push down on this, this little thing, this little thing comes out right here. Okay, when you pull up on it, it goes away. That locks this front wheel uh, in place so that it doesn't turn so easily. Okay. Okay. But if you don't know that, which you didn't, I didn't see that in the instructions. So if you don't know that, uh, you, oh look, we've already broke it in. How fantastic. You start pushing it and you cannot get it to go. Like I could not get it to go. It kept stopping. There was cuss words. There was lots of things that were said that were hateful. <laughs> Cause I'm like, this is a, like a $500 stroller and it's not working. Like what in the actual heck is going on. Trial and error, I figured it out. So now I'm gonna tell you so that you can figure it out on your own because it's awful. Okay, now I'm gonna put my children back in the cart because I took them out because I couldn't figure out how to do this. <sighs> We're gonna try again. Okay, okay. Can you see Solomon? Mm -hmm. Hey, Bubba. Okay. Nine, 10, 11. Okay. 14. Can you see me buckling it? Mm-hmm. I'm looking right down. Good. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna tighten this. See how am I moving it? Yeah, you're doing a really good job. I'm super proud of you. Mommy's the one that's struggling at the moment. Okay, that's good enough. I don't know what this... What's Someone say hi. Hi. Say hi. Okay. Hi. So here's our stroller. So we've got Daniel. How old are you? Six. He weighs 50 pounds. Solomon, how old are you? One. One, and he weighs 30 pounds. We've got Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. He's Jasmine three. here. So here's the canopy in the daylight. Okay, so here's the canopy outside. The wheels are locked. It's pretty sturdy. The dog's been pulling on it and hasn't pulled them down. Um, these clip and go were the best ones that I saw because they have the rubber all the way around. <laughs> okay, here's Solomon in his five point harness. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Ew, yeah, he's making a mess already. So here's monkey seat, which can usually be the um, like ice chest or whatever. There's Jasmine, she's having a great time. So then this is my cargo net that I have right here that has his, which has his scooter. And then I have this dyno caddy right here that has the water, our We're stuff in it. it. Yeah. And then inside here, we've got, can you turn that on for me? So it's a fan or it's a light. Okay. Yeah. All right. Turn it off. Okay. I've got about all these pockets down here. Um, there's some Velcro pockets, there's some zip pockets. And a hand pocket. And a hand pocket. My biggest worry was my six-year-old getting out. So, okay, crawl out. He, okay, so see, he puts a lot of weight on there, so we're gonna have to figure that out, because he might rip that. 
but he says it's pretty. You can kind of block the sun. Solomon is, Solomon's not having it, so we're gonna walk. But there he is. I'm pretty tall. My feet are not hitting the thing, which I was really concerned about, but it's not. Um, he's happy in there, sort of. <laughs> he's happy up there. Jasmine's happy right here. He's still chilling in there. He's having a good time. So the only things I worry about with this stroller is I worry about the stitching here. Um, if kids have to put their weight on it to get out or they put their weight over here, like how long that will last. Um, but other than that, I don't have any complaints really. Besides this whole mishap thing that happened. That was super frustrating. That was super frustrating, <laughs> but I think it's fixed now, so it's okay. Mommy, he died! I'm gonna put my stickers on it to like personalize it, and then I will show you what it looks like. Not. Okay, so here is our first one. Um, to personalize our Keens, which I've heard people doing this because people will steal them. <laughs> so in this one says monitored by GPS. This one is this side. It has our autism awareness. It has Crawford family and monitored by GPS. It's different um, placements, but you know, that's cool. Here are the bottom ones. In case it ever gets stolen, it can be you know, give them back to us. And that's my phone number, and that's our last name. I don't know, it's really no, cool. I hope that, I'm like sweaty, because I've been fighting this stinking stroller. I've been fighting this stroller, and I've been fighting outside. It's, pretty, it's still pretty hot outside. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you were thinking about getting a Keens, that this video was informative to you. Um, all in all, my Keens carried about 80, about 83 pounds, which it didn't feel any heavier than like my typical single stroller with both of them inside of it. So it really wasn't that big of a deal or that much heavier. Uh, um, I love it. It It is intended for 110 pounds, so we still have lots of pounds to go. And he's not putting undue stress on my original wagon or stroller. On my first stroller. So I'm really happy with this. It was worth the money to me.